And while the average American is still struggling with the effects of the recession, for one group of Americans, CEOs, you'd never know it even happened. For the first time, median CEO pay has hit eight digits, $10.5 million. That's a total 50% increase over the last four years. According to an Associated Press Equilar study, in 2009, CEOs made 181 times the average worker. But that proportion rose to 257 times in 2013. The magnitude of this surge is largely due to growth in the stock market. After, after the recession and criticism of CEOs' outsized cash bonuses, a lot of companies restructured executive pay packages to include more stock, less cash. The highest paid CEO last year was Anthony Petrello of Neighbors Industries, an oil filled services company. He raked in $68.3 million. Corporate media heads also did well. CBS's Leslie Moonvis, one of the top earners, took home $65.6 .6 million last year. And despite their centrality to the financial crisis, the biggest winners were Wall Street CEOs whose pay rose an astonishing 22% last year after an identical 22% jump the year before. Average workers' weekly wages, by contrast, rose 2, or I'm sorry, 1.3%. As money accumulates at the top of the pay scale and the stock market does well, there's even more evidence that the middle class is being hollowed out. A Goldman Sachs study using Department of Labor data shows that the middle class hasn't recovered in terms of job creation. Looking at job losses during the recession, one can see that the middle pay levels were hit hardest. And although the economy is recovering, the new jobs being added are mostly the lowest paying, leaving the middle class shrinking toward the bottom.